like this. And now what what we need to do is is to prove that that thing here is equal n plus one cubic. Yeah, we need we need to we need to we just need to to prove this. And it, it is quite simple simple exercise using using basic calculation. So so what what we have here is is two times sum of arithmetic uh, series, uh, which which is uh, two times n times n plus one over two. Uh, so so these two will, will kill each other like this, reduce each other plus plus n plus one squared. Yeah, and uh, so so we just we just need to to sum this uh, together. So we have n times n plus one plus n plus one times um, yeah, plus uh, n plus one one uh, squared. So um, what we have here is. Um, um, <laughs> N plus n times n plus one. Aha, uh -huh, there is there is some kind of, of mistake somewhere. Uh, okay, so so we take we take this and we will obtain two times um, n plus one squared, and and this is ah uh, this is this is uh, yeah yeah because because I forgot here n plus one yeah yeah so this so this is n plus one squared. Yeah, and so so we have n n times n plus one square plus one n plus one squared. So so this is nothing else than n plus one times n plus one squared, meaning n plus one cubic. And so the, this uh, this is the proof I I wanted wanted to obtain. But like the nice thing is that there is there is much much simpler simpler way how to how to prove this just just using. Um, some kind of like basic basic double counting principle and basic uh, like the like the proof proof will be similar uh, graphic as as, uh, as one before so to show this let me let me step aside and, and consider something completely else so we are going to consider grid as as before and we are con we are going to consider rectangles in grid so we have grid of size n times n, so let me let me keep n equal five uh, as, as before. And now we consider rectangles in this grid, which which look which look like this. And so the question is how how many Rectangles does the grid does the grid has? And the answer is is very simple. So, so we just need to consider by by um, by which uh, which uh, things uh, the rectangle is defined. So first of all, we need to choose to um, two vertical lines, which will be the left and right side of the, of the rectangle, and we can choose these these lines by n uh, sorry n n plus one choose two different ways, uh, because because if the grid is if of, of size uh, n, then it has n plus one vertical and horizontal lines. And then we we need to to choose uh, two horizontal lines, which will be top and bottom part, bottom side of the rectangle. And similarly, we can do it by by n plus one choose two different ways. So the total number of rectangles is 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 n plus one choose two squared. Yeah, and so if we write this. This uh, number number down, then um, what what we what we obtain is is that n plus one to to n squared like this is is nothing else than n plus one 
choose to square the, uh, the, ar the, the sum of, of the arithmetic arithmetic series which is n times n plus 1 choose 2 is nothing else than n plus 1 choose ah uh, sorry n plus 1 choose 2 uh, n, n times n, n plus 1 over 2 is, is n plus 1 choose 2 uh, so, so what we know that the total number of, of rectangles yeah, so, so, okay. the total number number of, of rectangles is is exactly the left hand side. So now we are going to, to count these rectangles in a different way and we will update the right hand side and, and this will be our proof. Yeah. So so what what we can what we can do here is is to consider only on a special rectangles. So I have a grid of size n times n and um, I will consider some another parameter R for example, let me let me consider n equal five and r equal equal three, and I will only consider rectangles which are contained in this this subsquare of of size r times r. So this is r r times r, and only only those. So only rectangles in subsquare. R times R and only touching either bottoms bottom side or right side. Now, so the we will only consider rectangles rectangles like like this. Or, or this, or this, but, but things, things, things like like this won't be won't be counted, counted in, in our calculation. And so, so what what we what we can do is to is to split split this this number to to rectangles which which are touching uh, number of, of touching. Touching bottom plus number touching right minus because we we calculated some some of um, of these rectangles twice these these that are touching both both of the sides minus number touching corner and so so we can we can do it exactly in the same way as before but if the rectangle is touching bottom we can we we don't have a uh, possibility to to choose the uh, two two uh, horizontal lines. We just we just choose one. So if we if we want to construct some rectangle which is touching bottom, then we choose top top side, which can be chosen in an R plus one. So this is in R plus one uh, in R different ways. Sorry, in R different ways. And and the reason is the reason is that uh, the uh, the bottom part is already this 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 line is already um, forbidden, and then we choose uh, two two horizon two vertical vertical lines like like this for example and, and this, and these these two horizontal uh, these two uh, vertical lines uh, can be can be chosen in R plus one choose two different ways. Uh, and so so uh, this this is uh, this R r times r plus one squared is number of, of rectangles which are touching bottom plus the, the same amount will be obtained like, using exactly the same method number of, of rectangles touching touching right is, is this minus the number in the corner and in the in the case of, of corner what we what we what we know we, we just need to choose the left side 
and the top side and both of them can be can be chosen in our different ways so we, we obtain our our square and now we, we just need to we just need to calculate calculate this this thing here so so what we have we have um, r times r times r plus one over two times two because these two these two quantities are, are the same minus r squared so we, we have r squared times r plus one minus r squared which is nothing else than, than r cubic yeah and now we just need to we just need to discuss that, that this is this is um, everything everything we need so so what what we need to what we need to do here is to to uh, notice that that every rectangle has every rectangle has um, uniquely determined uh, in which r square it lies. And, uh, and the reason is that the rectangle is somewhere in the, the grid then it can it can touch only only one one of these r times r rectangles and it, it, this is the this one so so the uh, the r is equal maximum maximum of of uh, right and uh, bottom like like this so, so so this will be this will be the r times r sub square in which uh, the act the rectangle is lying inside and touching this this area here yeah, so so to every rectangle in in the grid we have we have one one r square like like this yeah and uh, so so basically what we are doing is is to is to take each uh, it to take every rectangle and for each rectangle we have one r to r square so so we we partition rectangles to to several groups in each group yeah, for for groups of equal r to one to to n and in each group we have r cubic cubic different rectangles so what we have is one uh, cu one cubic plus two cubic two plus n and cubic and this this is counting exactly the same number as before so this is nothing else than right hand side of, of our theorem yeah? and because of the, the of the double double counting we, we know that left hand side is nothing else than right hand side yeah? so so this concludes that uh, theorem that one plus two n squared is, is one cubic to n cubic is is, is correct yeah, so so this is some kind of some kind of, of um, nice nice really simple simple proof just just using using a picture and and you can you can easily imagine or to to construct different types of, of proofs uh, proving proving these these equalities and um, this is this is some kind of Thing I consider to to be real beautiful about about combinatorics that, that you can obtain different ways how to how to prove prove things there and, and you obtain really nice uh, results and then are quite quite clear and, and somehow somehow um, sometimes you are quite surprised what what you can discover there. Okay, yeah, so so that's that's all for for today and, and thanks thanks for uh, watching. Yeah, and Hopefully, if I will have um, some some time uh, soon, I will I will maybe maybe put put uh, some some other other videos concerning some some um, nice nice stuff I, I discover. Yeah. So see you soon.